Hello. Um, I'm going to uh, make this video now about uh, my crutch collection here, and I'm going to explain um, why I have all these uh, these crutches. Um, first of all, first of all, before I uh, get too far into it, um, I want to say that I have not been using all of these or any of these with any great regularity. Um, it's like once in a while I will use a pair of them, but a couple of these pairs I don't use at all, and I'll explain uh, why in a moment. And then I'll go ahead and give demos of, of all of them. Um, I tried to make this video before and it kind of just turned into a long video, so I've got to try to shorten it. And uh, So anyway, this pair on the left, the leftmost pair here, um, these are the kind of crutches that most people use nowadays. Um, in this day of, you know, knee scooters like this and, uh, the iWalk device where you'd strap it onto your, uh, strap it onto your knee and just kind of kneel, you know, kneel as you walk along, <laughs> however you want to describe it. You know, crutches have kind of gone out of, out of style. Um, I'm sorry to say, but the thing is, even if you have a scooter like this, um, you can't really escape the, the use of crutches, I don't think. Not completely, because, like, even, especially if you're traveling... You cannot take something like this into a plane, into an airplane. And, uh, you know, riding around on one of these is not always practical um, in, in public. Um, I dare say that if you do have a broken ankle, broken leg, or some injury below the knee, you are going to need crutches at, you know, at least at some point during your injury. Um, so anyway, long story short, let's um, address each one of these. Um, I got this pair here in 2018 when I fractured my ankle and sprained it really bad, and I was on these for uh, six weeks, something like that, close to six weeks. Um, boot and crutches, um, this is a very common um, make and model of, of crutch um, that you see most people using. This next pair is super uncommon. Why? Because they don't make them anymore, and one, and two, they're expensive, as are these uh, crutches here on the end. So this pair here is mobile legs, and why are the sponges attached? I don't know, somebody suggested I attach sponges to them. Um, probably because the armpit here is not really very well padded, and uh, these handle grips, although they're you know, well designed, they're, they're actually better if uh, you, know, you have some, uh, some sponge there. Um, anyway, so where did I get these? Um, sans the sponges. I got these for like $60 from a guy who played or plays soccer. And I met him in a parking lot and he, um, he had like a, a trunk full of these things. He had like uh, maybe three or four pairs in his trunk, the trunk of his uh, SUV. And he said that he played soccer and that he'd broken his leg twice and had used these when he broke his leg. And then he's been selling them. I think he probably got a whole bunch from Mobile Legs, probably for a low price. And he was selling them for $60 each to friends and, you know, whoever wanted them. And I asked him, why aren't you selling the latest make and model, which is these? And he said, well, I don't really have uh, many of these, but Mobile Legs is coming out with yet another model. And I don't know if that ever happened or not. If it has, I, I'm not aware of it. So um, I got these kind of as a collector's item sort of thing, because I know they're not made anymore. And I don't think I've seen anybody else using these in, in public. I've seen these plenty of times but I have not seen these really at all, okay? So they are ergonomically designed with these handle grips. This, the handle grips of these are the same as, as these. So, you know, they're nicely designed and so on and so forth for a nice good grip, like designed um, in the shape of, you know, how a hand would, would grip something. And there's a left crutch and a right crutch. So this is the right and then by default, I guess this one is the left, even though this doesn't have the, the L, okay? so. The thing that I really don't care for much about these or these is that they um, make kind of a lot of noise when you when you walk around on them, and that's kind of something that I I really don't like. Um, not that these are completely noise free either, but uh, these kind of make more noise than than you'd probably hope for. Now my favorite crutches are these, the wooden ones, and why? Because I grew up um, in the 80s, which was like the last little phase of time when people used wooden crutches and into the 90s too um, but in those days this is basically all there was um, these were around but most people did not have these the stores 
I can't remember if the stores sold these or not. I kind of don't think so. Or if they did sell them, they were very expensive. But at that time, um, there were a lot of stores that rented out these wooden crutches. And in those days, again, I was not really all that old in the 80s, but in fact, I wasn't old at all. But as I remember, um, if you did have a broken bone of some kind in your leg, you were kind of on your own as far as crutches, getting crutches. So you get the cast and they wouldn't give these to you in the doctor's office. You would you know, be expected to go and just rent a pair for yourself or whatever and um, or have your family member go and get one for you. And nowadays, and I think it's been this like this for a long time now, if you break something and they put you in a cast um, or boot or whatever, they will more often than not issue you a pair of crutches, especially if you have insurance that's going to pay for them. Okay. So, depending on what kind of orthopedic doctor that, doctor that you go to. Why do I like these so much, other than the fact that I um, kind of grew up with them and they kind of have a nostalgic quality? I like them so much because they don't make any noise when you walk on them, um, which I'll show you in a few moments. Um, now, these on the end, these are semi-common. I think most people who get these are kind of more crutch savvy. Um, I think a, a fair number of athletes, like this guy who I bought these from, the soccer player guy, um, if they know that they've got bad ankles or something like that and they know that they're probably going to be ending up with sprains or knee problems or whatever, they'll probably have these and they'll spend the money and buy them new. A pair online, I think, is if you buy them from Mobile Legs, is like $150 each. And I've seen celebrities using these, like multiple celebrities. It's like they're, I don't know, um, maybe they go to doctors who, who issue them. Um, they go to upscale, like upper-end doctors who... Um, have these in stock or something to, to give to their patients but most orthopedic doctors don't don't have these they have these and none of them have these anymore I was really lucky to find this pair here uh, about six weeks ago online probably like the last manufacturer of wooden crutches out there um, so I was lucky to get them for like $30 this pair here I've had for a long time I've used them many times for stuff um, and really, these are, are my favorites. So I'll show you each of these. I'll go ahead and demo them. And I guess it's kind of appropriate because as I do many days, my foot is, uh, my ankle is wrapped. And I just keep swelling down because my ankle sucks. So let me go ahead and put this camera down. And I'll go ahead and show you each of these and their pros and cons. Okay. So what do we got? So these are the crutches that, you know, on rare occasion if you have a sighting someplace and you see somebody out uh, in public like this, this is a very common sight. A lot of people use these crutches and a good number of manufacturers basically make the same crutches. Okay, so as you can hear, there's a bit of a click, but it's kind of like that expected click that you, you know, you're going to hear when you, you know, see somebody on crutches uh, that are made out of metal, they're going to probably sound about like this. Okay, so, and maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. These are kind of starting to get a bit worn now with the perspiration. Uh, it has kind of discolored the, the gray and that comes uh, from you know, sweaty armpits and stuff. Okay, so. Um, and this pair of mobile legs, I got the left crutch and the right crutch, see they make a good amount of noise, which I really don't like. Now, the other thing about these is the armpits are on a, they're hinged, like hinged armpits, they're also on springs. So not only do they depress like this, they also flex back and forth. And I guess that's cool because it does take some of the um, pressure off of your shoulders and kind of makes for a, probably for less upper body pain like in your first few days on on crutches a lot of people experience shoulder pain and stuff like that because they're just kind of not used to, to uh, having the fatigue on that group of muscles up here and their hands start getting all kind of burned out because of the ripping the, the cast but you know as I say these are kind of like uh, specialized crutches I've never seen anybody using them so they're kind of in my collection simply because they're collector's items okay now for these Ow, ow, ow. Like I say, my ankle sucks. Uh, so it's probably good that I'm using them right now. Okay. So, okay. 
Um, these don't make any noise. Perfect. Now, the only time that wood crushes sometimes do make a noise is once they start to get older. Once they start to get older and the wood has kind of been, you know, depressed by, you know, the weight, your body weight, being on them all the time, they'll kind of start to creak a little bit. But these are brand new and don't make any noise. These are my favorite. Perfect. And I hope I get a lot of use out of these. Okay. And this pair here, what I want to show you about these, and the other ones have this as well, um, these have plastic fittings. And um, the old style of these did not, they were just all wood, like uh, the wood top attached to these two side pieces. But I don't know, things are more cheaply made as time goes by and they're just not made as, made as well. But I've had these for like probably eight, nine years now. And uh, I've got them backwards, there we go. Um, they're good. The only little noise that you hear from them is comes from the, uh, the pads here. Other than that, they're pretty noiseless. And when I uh, hurt uh, my ankle, not this one, but my right one, um, about 18 months ago, I used these to go to uh, the urgent care facility and I hobbled in there on these. And um, then the next week I got this pair of metal ones. I did have another pair of uh, metal ones for some years, I found them in a parking lot, and then once the doctor gave me this new pair, I threw out the other, other ones, which are kind of getting old and tattered and stuff. So, I will always be a fan of wooden ones. Now, finally, um, I've got these. So, as I say, these are really pretty common, and uh, I've got to make sure I got the left and the right. This is the left. This is the right. Okay. Yeah. And again, the same sort of problem with the, the noise. They just kind of tend to get a little too noisy, but the good thing is that it does kind of take some of the pressure off uh, your armpits with the uh, the hinged armpit thing. I think they call them like the armpit saddle or something, like saddle design, whatever. And uh, they've actually got some crutch covers and stuff for for these as well, the, uh, that fit over the top. Um, I think a good number of people in the past, and I don't know about the present, but... Um, like with, like with these, people would uh, stick, like wrap the top of this with an ace bandage or some kind of padding of some kind, um, just to kind of make it like more comfy to crutch on. And personally, I never found that, that was useful. It just tended to burn my armpits when I did that. So um, anyway, these are just kind of a more deluxe or expensive crutch and um, so I've never used these for any injury. Um, I think I've done a couple videos in the past with these just to kind of show them off. Um, but as far as it goes, I would not, if, you know, if I have another broken ankle, I wouldn't want to use these for six weeks. I just would not. So anyway, um, I did want to add one last thing and that is one last thing. I uh, taught myself how to use crutches, wooden crutches like exactly like this, um, almost, back a long time ago because I lived in a neighborhood where there were a lot of people on crutches. And I could name, if I sat down and really thought hard about it, I'm sure I could name all of them at once. But um, just to comment on one of them, or one or two of them, really quick, as this video is getting long. Um, I lived a few doors down from this family um, that had two teenage boys and a younger girl who I'm still really good friends with her all these years later. But the two boys and the dad, they played basketball a lot. Those guys were constantly on crutches. They sprained their ankles. Dad broke his leg. Um... One of the brothers, he was he was constantly on it because he, his ankle went out. His One of his ankles was just bad. So they were always on crutches. Now, they had this really big shed in the backyard that I was welcome to go in. Now, back in the 80s and probably before that, you could have a house without a gate. 
Uh, like if you had a big property, I mean nowadays if there's if you have a big property you've got it gated off so intruders can't get in. They never had any gates. Everything was wide open, and they never got robbed. But I went back, you know, I was welcome on their property anytime. But I used to go back to their shed, and I'd pull out the crutches and I taught myself how to use them when they weren't using them themselves. But I mean those two those two guys they were caught, they must have had the worst luck. If they weren't spraining an ankle playing basketball, they'd trip on the stairs or something like that and their ankle would be out. So I saw them on crutches a lot. And I remember when my mom graduated from college, she was like in her 30s, so she kind of graduated late. But you can probably guess what I'm gonna say. One of the brothers, they came to her graduation party. One of them had just sprained his ankle like a couple hours before and he came to her graduation party on crutches with his foot all wrapped up in ice and stuff like that but he wasn't going to miss this party because there's all this food i'll never forget it to this day and uh just his name was matt and i haven't seen matt in a really long time but poor guy <laughs> that guy was on crutches a lot and then there was um, another guy in another house his name was jesse and jesse was about my age maybe a year or two i think jesse was like a year or two younger than me and that kid had the worst ankles. He was also on crutches frequently. And he'd come to school, he'd have his backpack on. And I think he had like a Levi jacket and, you know, brown like corduroy type pants. He kind of looked, in a way, he kind of looked like Bobby Brady from the Brady Bunch. That's what I, only, only, um, he had like uh, sandy blonde hair, not dark brown hair like uh, that actor had on the Brady Bunch. But, um. Anyway, so he he was constant. It's like his ankles would constantly go out, and I don't think he was faking it either. I, I mean, who would do something like that? <laughs> I don't think it was uh, anything fake. I don't think he was like whining to his parents about like, oh, you know, he just wanted to be on crutches for fun. No, this kid had bad ankles, and he would always show up at school. He was not in my class, but I would see him every day, even though he was younger than me. And you know, his foot would be all wrapped up. And, um, you know, he's limping around on crutches, but he was really good on them. He was a crutch pro, even at a really young age. And then as Jesse got older, I think, you know, he kind of outgrew that. And maybe his, his joints got stronger or something like that. But I do remember he, he played, so I, I was in school with him all those years, like in junior high and high school. And uh, I think maybe in junior high school, he still had a sprain or two, but by high school, he, um, he didn't. And then we actually went to the same university, too. And every time I saw him, I would like... Uh, I wouldn't ask him about his his ankle issues, but I would always like look to see if he was wearing any ankle brace or something like that. And no, he didn't. But um, that's kind of another story. If you go to a big university or college or something, especially back when I did in the 90s, and uh, I graduated in 1999, there were a lot more casts and crutches in those days. Lots of them. And of course, mobile legs were not around uh, quite yet. But by that time, I think these crutches here had prevailed, and the wooden ones were really kind of making their way out. Um, in my dorm where I lived, um, there were a good number of sprained ankles um, that year on both the guys and the girls. Um, you know, at least like maybe four, four, five, six in our, in just our dorm. And I remember I was coming out one day, you know, um, had my backpack on and I was going to class and this guy who lived in our dorm, like completely unexpectedly, he must have sprained his ankle in the morning. Here he comes like on crutches and uh, I was holding the door. He comes up like the handicap ramp and um, like the, you know, our dorm mates were saying, you know, whoa, what happened to you? I sprained it. He said, I, I was playing uh, basketball earlier. I twisted my ankle. I can't walk. So it's really common amongst high school and college kids. But the thing is, even though it's common, it's like the sightings are few and far between nowadays. Go figure. So anyway, um, as for me, um, this is how I am a lot of the time. I just have my ankle wrapped because uh, it keeps the swelling down and it's, it, my ankle's not stable. So this really feels good to me. And as you can see, I've got this blue piece um, on the back that actually adds kind of more more stability not much but but a little bit and it it actually keeps my my uh, my heel from splitting because if you you know wear uh flip flops like this um it tends to kind of like dry out and, and and split your heels but this is actually athletic tape if you use enough of this stuff it's actually good for helping stabilize your ankles so i'm gonna end this video right here because we just passed 20 minutes and i really hope you enjoyed it
Bye. Thanks for watching.